guys, what's going on? Hopefully you're all having a great day and welcome to another Car Story Diecast review. So today we have something a little bit different than normal because we're not reviewing the usual 155 scale diecast. These are still diecast cars as you can see right there, but they're like 10 times smaller, hence the name Mini Racers. So I was actually pretty excited for this line. I saw some pictures of them on the internet and they looked absolutely amazing. Like I said earlier, they're die cast metal, they roll, and here in the United States, they only cost about $2.49. So in my opinion, that's a great deal right there, especially compared to the Toys R Us mini line. They're made by a different company. These are Mattel. The ones at Toys R Us are not, and they don't roll. They're plastic, and they cost $4. So Yep, I returned the ones that I bought. As you guys probably saw in my May 1st video, I showed you some. I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to return these. And yep, I sure did. Went to Walgreens and picked up the good minis. So let's dive right into the review of these. There are eight of them so far in the United States, in Australia. You guys got all 12 of them, but hopefully here in the US, the remaining four show up soon. Now let me talk about where you can get these. So in the US, you can get them at Walgreens stores. They're pretty much in every state, I believe. And they're in this big car story display in usually the widest aisle of the store. And that's typically the seasonal aisle. Like it's, you know, Easter or summer or winter, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. So you can get them there. They're in like a little box at the center of the display on one of the sides. And you can also buy them at Best Buy and Kohl's. So kind of odd and strange places. I haven't seen anyone find them at Target. Toys R Us, of course, has their own mini line and Walmart. Nope, not there either. So very weird. I hope they show up at those stores soon because then there's a bigger chance that the other four will show up there because at these other stores, they usually only get in like one assorbent and then they're done. That's pretty much how it goes. Now in Australia, they've shown up at bigger retailers. I believe, I know a friend of mine found them. I think it was either at Big W or Kmart. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure if you're in Australia, you kind of know more of the information about them and you can get all 12. So the four that are missing from the United States are Jackson Storm, Murray Clutchburn up there, the Sputter Stop Racer, Ramon and Natalie Certain who aren't on the frontier. So it's kind of weird why they didn't all release them in the United States. I'm kind of disappointed about that, but like I said, I'm pretty sure they'll eventually hit the US, but congrats to those in Australia. Now, if you don't live in either Australia or the US, I'm sorry, I don't know. I haven't seen anyone find them in Europe, Canada, South America, Mexico, etc., etc. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't be sold in those places. Maybe they're just a little slow to be stocked on the shelves and whatnot, but I mean, I don't really know. Maybe they'll never hit those places, which would be absolutely terrible. Mattel's distribution is kind of funky sometimes, so you really never know, especially with little lines like this that aren't mainstream, like the die cast, like the single die cast, and the deluxes. So, you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I don't know what to say for those outside of the US and Australia. Anyways, let's dive into a little history of the Mini Racers. So back in like 2008, they had this Mini Adventures line. I personally didn't really care for them. Plus, I was like a seven year old, so I didn't have a job, wasn't making really any money. So I wasn't about to spend any money on these. I just focused on the die cast because I like them a lot more. Now, I think these are plastic. They look kind of plastic to me. They might be metal, but I don't know. I just ended up with this box set I got free from this awesome person a couple years ago, and that's pretty much all I have. I think I got the Screaming Banshee. That's a part of the Mini Adventures line, but that was pretty much it. Now, I do want to compare these a little bit. I think I might have a Mater Loose from the Mini Adventures line, and then we'll do some comparisons. But 
Yeah, I just want to inform you guys that there was a mini line before. It didn't last too long, but it was pretty prominent when it was out. Then 2013, 2014, they had the Micro Drifters line, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. They were micro cars that didn't roll on the four main wheels. They had this metal ball on the bottom so they could pretty much drift. It was actually pretty cool. I got a lot of them. So here are like five examples and they drift. It's pretty cool. But this line did end about two years ago. So kind of sad there, but oh well. I'm glad that we have some sort of mini line back though with these. Technically, they're a new line because they're different from the mini adventures and they're definitely not micro drifters. So technically a new line, but adapted, I guess you could say, from previous lines. So let's talk about how you can decode these because obviously they are blind bags. We got those McQueen boxes, which were kind of like blind bags. I mean, not really because the McQueen was on the box that you were getting. So these are more legit blind bags. They are you know, completely blind. You don't know what you're going to get. It's a question mark on the car. However, you have this little white window down here. So if you put the car up to it, you know, chances are you can actually see what it is. This one is Luigi, but it's kind of hard to see on that one. Let's see if we can get a better angle with maybe... No, nah, not that one. Some of them are harder to see than others because the poster gets in the way. How about this one? Nope, poster's in the way. Come on. <clears throat> Sorry about this, guys. I don't know what's going on here. I'm trying to find... That one's upside down, dude. Come on. How about this one? Nope. I think that was Sheriff, though. This is going to be the one, guys. I got a whole bunch of them. I got, like, two sets just in case any are... That one's stuck at the... Wrong end of the bag, no. Upside down. This is frustrating. I do, there we go, look at that. You can see that there's like an 86, a yellow wheel. Like I can definitely tell in person that, see, there you can see the eight right there. I can definitely tell that is Chick Hicks. So you can kind of see through the window, but a much better way of telling is the numbers so like i said there are 12 in this kind of first wave here and simply if you go to a store just make sure you get all different numbers i'll put the entire list in the description below like for example i think lightning mcqueen is number one so i'll put all that information in the description jackson storm is 10 i think so yeah all information will be in the description below if you want to grab a specific one i can definitely help you out with that and when i'm unboxing these you guys We'll see exactly what cars come out of what numbers as well. And speaking of unboxing, we're about ready to do so. Just one final look at the packaging. We have McQueen, Sheriff, Doc, Cruz, Jackson, Sputter Stop, Cal Weathers there, and just a bunch of information on the back here. So yeah, you have 1 through 12 right there. That code does not matter to us. In the United States, you'll only find 0, 1 through 0, 8. Now let's open these up, starting with number one. So you guys saw what cars came out of what numbered bags. I know it was kind of fast, so I'll put the entire list of all the minis with their corresponding numbers in the description below. So if you guys want to buy one specific one without guessing, then you can definitely use that list. Now before we get into the minis themselves, I want to show you this little poster that came with each of them. So it's actually pretty cool. It's a checklist that's unfolded here. On the front, you can see all the minis that are currently available. 
Obviously though, like I keep saying, Jackson Storm, Natalie Certain, Murray Clutchburn, and Ramon are not available in the US yet. In Australia, they are though, along with the rest of them. So it's kind of like a checklist. You can check off each of them as you get them. And then on the other side, you have 12 question mark cars. Look for more mini racers coming fall 2017. So presumably in fall of 2017, we'll get 12 new minis that are completely different. That would be awesome. I'm definitely looking forward to them. So let's put the poster aside there. I have eight of them. And let's start here with Mini Racer Lightning McQueen. So for each of these, I'll compare the Mini Racer to the normal size 155 scale die cast to see the differences and whatnot. Obviously the size, but we'll take a look at the decals as well. So like I said, they do roll, which is awesome. The tires do not have the light year text on them, which is completely understandable. When you have less surface area with these minis, you can't apply as many decals, but I'm very impressed with the quality of these decals. Like you can see the piston cut right there with the octane gain, RPM, revolting, and clutch A logos. That's exactly how it is on the regular die cast. So great quality on those. You also have the Rusty's logo on the hood, of course, 95. They even were able to squeeze in the Lightning McQueen signature on the roof edges. So absolutely amazing. You have the flames, just awesome. Even on the back here, medicated bumper ointment, 95. Just like spot on. So I'm very impressed with the amount of detail they were able to get on these mini racers because they're so small. On the base here, we have K06, which means that this was produced the sixth week of 2017. K stands for the year, and then 06 is the week out of 52, of course. And then you just have 2016 Mattel, made in China. Oh no, made in Thailand, so that's interesting. I don't think Mattel has made anything in Thailand for Disney cars in a long time and just some other codes. So, just one final comparison between the two of them. The expressions are pretty awesome. I have to say though, I kinda like the mini expression more because, I don't know, the one on the regular version just kinda never grew on me. It's all right, but I feel like McQueen should be a little bit more determined and less like happy. I feel like he's too happy. But anyway, I do want to show you guys one more thing before we actually move on, and that is the Micro Drifters Lightning McQueen here. I have the World Grand Prix version. They're about the same size. The Micro Drifter version is smaller though, so just a little comparison there. The decals are entirely different. All right, let's move on to Chick Hicks. He's actually one of my favorites. So Mattel has not made a version of Chick Hicks without the headset yet, so we'll just have to use the one with the headset for the comparison. Of course, he has his mean determined expression there. The new decals, Chick Hicks 86. And now I have to say, the main reason why Chick is one of my favorites out of these minis is because all of his sponsor decals are in amazing quality. Like you can read them perfectly. You can make out what each of them are. So that is great Mattel, awesome job. Plus, they have the Chick Hicks signature up there, and on the bottom there, that white line is supposed to say, Former and Forever Piston Cup Champion. So, you know, it's just great that they went to the effort to put that saying on there, even though it's not entirely visible, like the sponsor decals, but it just shows that they really want to make these as accurate as possible. Like, if I was in charge, I'm not sure if I would have put that on there. Like, I would have been like, well, you probably can't read it anyway, so might as well just take it off but Mattel awesome job on these for sure so let's take a look at some of these maybe we'll be able to you know point some out you have sidewall shine right there sludgy let's see piston cut gaskets a whole bunch you have the thunder decal right there of course you have the RSN decals as well because he now is a reporter for RSN racing sports network you even have the ones on the spoiler there, like Little Turkey Pistons, some other sponsors that are not racers, Elikless, RPM, Easy Idle, No Stall, a whole bunch. So that is just awesome. I love this guy. He has Chick Hicks back there as well. Let's do some comparing. 
Let's see if the decals are in like the same spots. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, it looks like they are. You can see there's like a blue one right there for ViewZine, and then there's a blue one right there for ViewZine as well. So it looks like they kept all the decals in pretty much the same vicinity. So awesome job again. I cannot say enough about this guy. And again, we have RSM right there and 86. So one final comparison between the two of them. Let's move on to Doc Hudson. Now you may be wondering, why are they releasing Doc Hudson? Like he's not going to be in Cars 3, right? Because he died. Well, actually, he will be in the movie. I'm not going to really say anything because it might be considered spoilers. So check out some of my videos on Doc Hudson. I did a whole Doc Hudson flashback video that was entirely speculation. So you can watch that, maybe get an idea of what will happen with Doc in the movie. Because, of course, Doc was McQueen's mentor until he died in the events between Cars 1 and Cars 2 unfortunately, because the actor who plays him, Paul Newman, passed away. Anyways, though, moving on to something a little bit more positive. Of course, we have the typical look of Doc Hudson. He's not in his racing paint job like sometimes he is. On the back here, I love the detail again. 51 HHMD, that stands for 1951 Hudson Hornet Medical Doctor, because after he stopped racing, he became a doctor. Let's compare him to the 155 scale Doc Hudson. They're pretty similar, you know, in the features and whatnot. Obviously the expression and the scale is very different. I like the wheels as well. Here's the base, K04. So the fourth week of 2017, Chick Hicks was K05, fifth week. I'll try to show you guys all the bases. Very cool. He has his one side view mirror right there, like he should. Looking pretty awesome. I like the little decals on the back as well. Actually, the normal Doc Hudson doesn't even have those, so that's like a complete advance or, you know, addition to the mini here. So very interesting and again, great job. 100% for those minis. Moving on to Cruz Ramirez now. Let me get the Mattel version, the 155 scale. She was made on the fifth week or during the fifth week of the year. You know, she's one of my least favorite minis. I'm not entirely a big fan of the expression. It looks kind of weird to me, but I do like the rest of her, like the Team 95 Rusty's Racing Center decal right there. It looks like it's a little off. I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't be there. If you compare it to the 155 scale diecast is behind the front wheel, whereas here it's kind of like on top of it on the fender. So it's kind of weird. I don't know why they just didn't put it right there. On the back here, I like the detail with the license plate. Let's see. I know it has some significance to it. It's C01-06A. So that is Cristela. January 6th, Alonzo, January 6th is her birthday. So cool little Easter egg in there for sure. All right, let's move on now to Mather after one final comparison. Mather, ah, oh, Mather, he's my least favorite here. Probably, I don't know, it's not really because of him specifically, more so because he has a big chip right there on the bumper. So that is a huge chip and it's mostly attributed to the fact that these are in bags, all right? They're not the most protected. So if you drop a bag as you're pulling it out of the box at the store, then the car has a pretty big chance of actually getting damaged because it is hitting the ground. Like the only protection is this thin little plastic bag here. So, oops, poster fell down. No, no. All right, we're good, we're good. So yeah, they're definitely likely to get chipped. All of my other ones are fine though, thankfully, but this one, as you can see, not so fine. So I'll probably open up my other mini Mater. I do have two sets of these because a friend of mine actually got them for me. I bought them off of him and I found them in a store while that package was being shipped to me. So I ended up with two sets. I'll probably return most of my second set though. So yeah. Let's compare Mather to the normal 155 scale Mather. They have pretty much the same decals and coloring, of course. 
Not a fan of the expression on the Mini that much though. Tow Mater towing in salvage radiator springs. You have the brown wheels in the front, yellow in the back on the left, and then, oh, they just made it yellow on the back for both when it really should be yellow on the left and then white on the right. So that's kind of interesting there. The towing cables are plastic, but still nicely done. They're a little chunky, but like I keep saying, you know, when you have something so small, it's hard to make it very detailed. But they still have the A113 license plate there. Very, very nice. Now before we move on, I want to show you guys a couple other Mini Maters I have. This is the Mini Adventures Mater from long ago, like eight years ago. So he's pretty cool, a lot bigger though, as you can see. And he's plastic. Yep, he's plastic for sure. This one here is metal, obviously. And I also have the Micro Drifters Race Team Mater from a couple years ago. This one drifts and is quite a bit smaller. And he also has the 95 logo there on the side. So yeah, I do have a couple Mini Maters now. I'll have another one when I open up my second one of the cars, 3 Mater. All right, next up we have Cal Weathers, who might be my all-time favorite so far of these minis. I absolutely love this guy. He looks awesome. Like, I just love the look of him and the glossy paint. It's very shiny. And yeah, he just looks amazing. Nice little smile there. Of course, Cal seems like a happy guy. Here is the 155 scale die cast. We have Daco on the hood there. His mustache grill. 42. 42. They do have the... Cal Weathers text there on the roof edges. Light year over the fenders or on the fenders. You have the contingency sponsors. They even added in that red arrow to signify to the pit crew where to lift him up at. Amazing detail there. Of course, it's not shaded as much. Like if you look here, you can see there are several shades of blue right there. Right there, there are some lines. Here they just pretty much made it all light blue and then dark blue on the bottom, which is okay to me. No light your text on the tires. You have Danico right there, the text. On the back here, you have Danico again and 42 matching the 155 skill die cast. So again, I love this guy. He's definitely my favorite. Made during the sixth week of the year. And I do want to show you guys the King Micro Drifter. I don't have really anything else to compare Cal to because he is a brand new character, so he's not in any previous lines. But here is the King Micro Drifter. I think they look pretty cool together, even though Cal's a lot bigger. If you guys don't know, the King is actually Cal's uncle, not father, so that's a little detail. Whoa! Whoa, 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 I'm sorry about that, guys. That is what you call thunder, and it is storming pretty badly outside. I had to go work this morning, but that was like when I got there. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to caddy for anyone today, so I actually got to go home. So, yeah, definitely a good choice, and it is storming out there. So if you hear thunder or like little taps of rain, that's what it is. So I really want to record this morning. I don't want to have the rain really impact my decision. But anyway, here is Sheriff looking pretty awesome there. I like how he's gray. It's kind of weird, but I do kind of like the gray instead of the silver. Gray headlights instead of silver. Gray mustache. I like the expression. You have the siren up top there with the lights. White wall tires, which are pretty awesome. He does get smaller as you go back, kind of like Doc. They like shrink as you go back, which makes sense for their model. Of course, you have the badge right there for Radiator Springs and Sheriff written on the side doors. Same thing on the back here. You have the lights right there, some detailing, and then his license plate of 001 for being like the main priority of the town since he's the police force, the one and only police officer in the town. You know what? Maybe they have more now because Radiator Springs has grown a lot since 2006. But yeah, he's an awesome guy. I really do like this mini here. And moving on to the last one, last but. You know what? Maybe he is least. I don't think he is though. Or maybe. I'm not entirely sure with this one. He's definitely not my favorite though. He just looks kind of weird. Like he looks flat. Like 
he kind of looks just deflated. It's very hard to describe, but he just does not look right to me. Looks like he was made during the seventh week of the year. His eyes look kind of weird because the yellow for his like eyelids, they kind of blend in with the white space. So that looks a little weird. But other than that, you know, he's okay. You have the white wall tires there, the little black piece of vinyl on his roof there. His license plate reads 445-10 or 108, I believe. Yep, 108. Yep, that's his license plate. And there you go. Comparison. You have black outlines around these windows, which is kind of strange. That's not on the regular version. And it looks kind of weird because those windows aren't outlined. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh wait, we do have the Fiat logo or grill right there. So guys, that is all for the minis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It did run kind of long, but I did want to do a pretty thorough review of all eight of these minis when the next four are released in the United States. I'll try to get them as soon as possible and do a video on them. So let me know in the comment section below which mini out of these eight is your favorite. I think mine is Cal, followed up by Chick Hicks, then Doc, then McQueen, Sheriff, Cruz, Mater, Luigi. So yeah, that is my order right there. And I know there has been a lack of videos lately, but it's that time of year where I have all my tests, so I've been busy studying and whatnot. So hopefully you guys can understand. After school, I go on vacation, and then after vacation, fingers crossed, my hope is daily uploads. I want to do a video every single day for the summer. Definitely take advantage of my free time then. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now!